So Christian mode of theory, what could have led to her disappearance, right? There's a uh, parole violators, which stand in question, right? There's a cliff, which stands in question. The ocean stands in question. There's rocks that stand in question. A beach stands in question, right? There's, there's various things which are uh, still in question. Human remains found within her home. Like, subscribe, ID in the Discovery Channel. Yes, ID in the Discovery Channel. The links are provided below. Get that Discovery Go app as well as the ID Go app. You might want to get those two things, combine them, make them into one, and I'm a Discovery Influencer. That's indeed a fact. So, Christian, could she have been washed off of rocks at Land's End Beach? Or could Christian, say, have been someone who, say, fallen into the ocean it's in question because a bloodhound picked up Christian scent on the trail Christian took until it's ending. The trail's ending, right? How you take a bloodhound to go see, to check for traces of a scent, right? They, the It was a bloodhound that picked up her scent along the trail until the trail's ending, right? That being where she disappeared, right? So June 23rd, 1997 is the day Christian was last seen at the coffee shop where she worked, location being San Francisco, California. Um, and the location Crocker Galleria Mall is where her place of work is and was located within the mall, right? Christian was 18 at the time of disappearance. She moved to San Fran area uh, to attend summer school at the University of California at Berkeley. She too was living in Oakland. So how you move from one location to another to go to school, right? That's not why she's missing. Some would question that. Is that why she could be gone? No, not. No, right. She moved to San Fran after completing college in North Carolina. For some, that would have been the question. Did she go back to somewhere else? Did she, knowing she came from one place, right? Because that sent her trail, right? That That's what I question. How are you, say, at a beach location, right? Your scent is picked up along this trail, and then all of a sudden, you just disappear right there, right? The cliff. Some would question suicide. Did she purposely jump off of a cliff or wherever the location was where her scent was picked up, right? It's known once again that individuals, there have been people who have been known to be swept away by water in the location where her scent was found, right? But humans, human remains within her home 2015 2016 2017 right you have human remains found nothing said with all all within that time period here it is 2021 human remains discovered right 2015 then you have 2016 then you have 2017 right all where it was questioned the most about the human remains found within her home, but there's still no word on anything pertaining to those remains, right? So life before Christian's disappear, disappearance included Christian, um, she used public transportation, right? As her way of getting around. Since she didn't own a car or other vehicles. that would be in question because there were there was a time at one point where somebody did she was how you out here you're out and about say somebody offer you a ride somebody offer you to sleep over somebody offer this or that right that's why um the public transportation stands in question because she had it not really a history but there was a time where someone offered to do certain things have her come certain places and this and that right so 2015 human remains 
it was a yeah yeah the Cabrera dog picking up human remains in your California home right there was a halfway house just like in my opening when I mentioned there was a halfway house next door to Christian's home the halfway house was for parole violators that's the first thing you're living next to a place where there's parole violators right yet it wasn't known until a year later that it was a halfway house that sort of thing to not find out that it's a halfway house is was a halfway house that messes when investigate yes the investigation as well because to not know it was a halfway house during the time when you're trying to find out something on a person's disappearance that puts a hold up on everything you guys didn't know it was a halfway house right violators what type of parole violators because to know there were parole violators at the halfway house next door to where Christian was, as in where she lived while she was alive, could one of those individuals say have been involved in Christian's disappearance, right? Say she allowed someone into her home who could have been staying at the halfway house. Goes right back to, to the human remains found well that's odd how that that's where it's trying to where you're trying to pinpoint because this is two locations involved you have where her trail her scent was found along the trail and then her scent you, okay you're walking along this trail right however that situation went and then the trail ends your scent then you have human remains found in your basement which no one truly no one really knows if those human remains belong to you but then the parole violators being right next door what type of crimes did they commit because even if they're even if they were not murderers that's still not to say they possibly one or whoever two right whoever that's to say they could have been involved in her disappearance again halfway houses what type of individuals uh stay in halfway houses outside of parole violators as in their mindsets right mindsets mindset Th those two locations a beach where it seems you went missing and then human remains found in your basement because then some will have to question if there were parole say a parole violators right a parole violator say if there were someone who were staying at the halfway house next door to her and they were at the beach and they saw her and they had a conversation with her at the beach or something right some type of way a situation at the beach ends where her remains are found in her basement right because see to question even that is to say who all um were at the beach right who is who all is at the beach at the time because if if she were seen in the location where she were seen right people would have seen if other people were involved with her because that location where she went missing is said to have had individuals around the area right that's where it goes back did she fall off a cliff or something did she fall off a cliff did she fall off of rocks where she swept away by water while on rocks right halfway houses being next door versus a beach could you have talked to someone while you were at the beach could a murder occurred at the beach what time was it when she was at the beach daylight nighttime is able to hide a murder more in the, at nighttime than it is in the daytime right 
if someone from a halfway house parole violators parole violators if any of them has something to do with it it's more easier to hide um uh if you commit murder on someone like a christian it would be easier possibly to get away with it at night than it would be the daytime at a beach where people are walking through where it's an active environment at the beach because if they were to murder her at the beach or something then they would have to carry her body that's what i'm trying to say they would have to carry her body or something like that that sort of thing possibly wouldn't happen in the daytime carrying bodies would lead to even human remains possibly found in her basement they would have to put place her body in the car and all the rest right So when, when it comes to what I ask, if she died on her trail, right? If she died on the trail to the point where it ended the trail, right? If you die, if something happened, you're on a trail, right? Dogs pick up your scent, but somewhere you die along the way while you're on the trail, right? That you were on. If someone would have been involved in that, who would have had keys or something to her home or something? Because if they murder her, they would have to have access to her home to get into her home. If that were the case, like her, the human remains, if those human remains in which investigators, investigators and all the rest are still in question of, right? Even here in 2021, if whoever were involved in her death placed her dead body in her basement, right? Who would have had access to get into her home? to do such because if you murder someone that's to say you could in fact take their keys right and place them in their basement but it would have had to be someone who was around the area who knew that she lived in that particular home or somebody who had been in her home before they possibly know the key or something even if they didn't know the key they probably went through keys if that sort of thing took place right having access to a basement you you would have had to know where she stayed or something lived stayed her home you would have had to know where she lived in order to place her body into a basement the basement which belonged to her that's where it's odd or something because if she were at the beach and she were murdered or something like that, right? Who would know your home? Know your home, place of living. I'm thinking it, it would have had to been somebody. Okay, the only other way I'm thinking, because see, to know we carry ID cards. We, we carry... Um, driver's license right she didn't drive she, she at the time right even before then she took public public transportation but we all carry ids right the id identification and your wallet it tells your place of living address right so that is somewhat to say that the person even if they didn't know where she lived they could have found out where she lived based upon her ID that she carried in her wallet or in her purse or something, right? If you if you were just a stranger, but you didn't know where Christian lived, but you wanted to get rid of her dead body or something like that, if she didn't fall in water or wasn't swept away in the ocean or something on the rocks, or if she didn't fall off a cliff, right? If say you're at the beach or any other location and you wanted to rid her body but you wanted to hide it somewhere to make it seem like it was just her dying from natural causes or something like that or accidental within the home right would be to say possibly if the person didn't know where she lived her her id if she carried it on her that would be another thing Pulling out her ID, seeing where her place of living is, right? And then traveling along and then taking her body, using her keys or whatever to get access to her home, placing the body in the basement and then going on, moving on, right? 
that type of thing. I don't know. Because see, to, if those were her remains, right, within the home, right, of Christians, right, it sounds a bit personal. Because usually a killer or somebody, right, if, if they weren't within the home, right, say the trail was picked up, her scent was picked up, right, but some type of way she ended up back home, right, a killer possibly would just just kill you and rid you or kill you and dump your body then later your body seen floating or something in a ocean or something river ocean lake pond right swamp right for a random killer to randomly kill someone like a christian right while she's out somewhere at a beach or something i'm thinking a killer wouldn't really care too much to take her back to her home and place her remains in the basement or something maybe they would yeah because there there were various questions because she had been involved in the lesbian love affair right there was an and then there was a, um, a, a lesbian love affair going wrong and then there was a male that you know how somebody talks to law enforcement and they feel that they know more they say more right he was questioned right so it's something odd about that if there's a person that has a lesbian love affair or something like that would whoever they were involved with dating or something like that that person would have say had had access to their home home right would they have been on the beach with her where her scent was found right near a cliff near rocks or something like that would that person have been on the beach with her it, the whole situation is strange investigation discovery we're on the id logo stands at far left live now forbidden dying for love new episodes Detective Diaries, Season 1, Episode 3. Unlocked Episodes. It just, yeah, it just seems like to me, if, if there, if it wasn't any parole violators, then it seems like somebody knew her who was in the home or something her home id go original series shouts out to lieutenant joe kenda as well as paula to receive a newsletter from investigation discovery is a scroll down type your email address in and click next and if uh you would like to leave a comment on what you think and feel about the story in a video uh, let me know in the comment section. So, dear viewers, may you enjoy your day. I will, in fact, enjoy mine, and I'm gone for now. One.